This video will explain the process for submitting expense reports for reimbursement in Workday. In order to submit an expense report for reimbursement, you must be employed by the university as a student employee. Before you start your expense report, be sure that you have a valid receipt. In order to be reimbursed, your receipt must have where you purchased the item from, the date of the purchase, the items that you purchased, and the receipt should show proof of purchase like purchased with Visa ending in 1234. To start an expense report in Workday, type Create Expense Report in the Workday search bar. Then click Create Expense Report. On the first page of the expense report, you will need to fill in the memo line and business purpose. The memo line should include the event name or the budget name and the budget line item being used to fund the purchase. If the item is not part of a budget, then you should put flat funding, dash, then the item purchased. If you're using fundraising or gift money to fund the purchase, then you can just put the item purchased. If the purchase is directly related to an event, it'll be good to list the event name as well. If the event is travel related, please also include the city and dates of travel in the memo line. The business purpose field should be populated with group travel if the expense is related to a trip. If it's not related to a trip, it should be populated with non-travel. If the region field is filled in, then you can delete that. Otherwise, hit the OK button. The second page of the expense report is where you will start adding expenses. Hit the orange Add button. This will open the page where you can enter the details of the expense line item. Attach your receipt or any other needed supporting documentation in the gray box that says Drop Files Here. If you have more than one charge that you are wanting to be reimbursed for, then you will need to hit the orange Add button and add another line for each receipt that you have. Please avoid uploading screenshots and do not upload .heic files. If you upload a screenshot of a Venmo payment, you will also need to upload the full payment instructions that show the Venmo username that the payment should be sent to and for how much. The itemization section should not be used for multiple receipts. The only time the itemization section should be used is for using two or more different funding sources to cover the charge. For example, if you are wanting to use part of your budget to cover the expense and want to use some of your flat funding or fundraising to cover the rest of the expense, then you can use the itemization section to break out the different funding sources. You do not need to use the itemization section to itemize parts of an individual receipt. For example, you don't need to put the tax or shipping as different itemized line items. All of those can be included in one charge on one line item on the expense report. The date that you enter should be the date that the charge was made, which should be shown on your receipt. For the expense item field, you can use the expense cheat sheet on the Trello board to help identify what expense item your purchase should be categorized as. Depending on the expense item type, there may be additional information that will be required to be filled in. For example, if you select social and entertainment expense, the number of attendees will need to be filled in. If there are less than 13 people that attended the event, then you will need to list the name of each person that attended. As another example, if you select registration fees for an event or competition that your group has registered for, you will be prompted to put in the city where the event is and the date of the event.
In the memo line of the expense line item, you will again list the event name or budget name and budget line item being used to fund the purchase. Again, if the item is not part of a budget, then you should put flat funding, dash, then the item purchased. If you're using fundraising or gift money to fund the purchase, then you can just put the item purchased. If the purchase is directly related to an event, it'll be good to list the event name as well. In the project field, you should put your group's project number that corresponds with the funding source that will be used to fund the reimbursement of the purchase. You'll also fill in the amount of the expense that you're wanting to be reimbursed for. You are now ready to hit submit. After you have submitted your expense report, you should regularly check your Workday inbox to make sure that the report did not get sent back and there are not things that you need to fix or additional documentation that you need to attach before the expense report can be approved. To check the status of your expense report, search for the expense report number in Workday and go to the Business Process tab. This will show you where the expense report is at in the approval process and will also show any notes for corrections that need to be made to the expense report if it has been sent back. 